Telecommunications in Cameroon include radio, television, fixed and mobile telephones, and the Internet. Radio and television Radio stations State-owned Cameroon Radio Television CRTV, one private radio broadcaster, about 70 privately owned, unlicensed radio stations operating, but subject to closure at any time. Foreign news services are required to partner with a state-owned national station 2007, 2 AM, 9 FM, and three shortwave stations 2001. Television stations State-owned Cameroon Radio Television CRTV, two private TV broadcasters 2007, one station 2001, BBC World Service Radio is available via local relays 98.4 FM in Yaoundé, the capital, the government maintains tight control over broadcast media. State-owned Cameroon Radio Television CRTV, operates both a TV and a radio network. It was the only officially recognized and fully licensed broadcaster until August 2007 when the government issued licenses to two private TV and one private radio broadcasters. Approximately 375 privately owned radio stations were operating in 2012, three fourths of them in Yaoundé and Douala. The government requires non profit rural radio stations to submit applications to broadcast, but they were exempt from licensing fees. Commercial radio and television broadcasters must submit a licensing application and pay an application fee and thereafter pay a high annual licensing fee. Several rural community radio stations function with foreign funding. The government prohibits these stations from discussing politics, in spite of the government's tight control. Reporters Without Borders reported in its 2011 field survey that IT is clear from the diversity of the media and the outspoken reporting style that press freedom is a reality. Topic: Telephones. Calling code: plus two three seven. International call prefix: OO. Main lines: seven hundred and thirty seven thousand four hundred lines in use, eighty eighth in the world, twenty twelve. One hundred and thirty thousand seven hundred lines in use, two thousand and six. Mobile cellular: thirteen point one million lines, sixty fourth in the world, twenty twelve. 4.5 million lines 2007 telephone system system includes cable microwave radio relay and tropospheric scatter camtel the monopoly provider of fixed line service provides connections for only about 3 per 100 persons equipment is old and outdated and connections with many parts of the country are unreliable mobile cellular usage in part a reflection of the poor condition and general inadequacy of the fixed line network has increased sharply reaching a subscribership base of 50 per 100 persons 2011 Communications cables, South Atlantic 3, West Africa Submarine Cable Sat 3, WASC, Fiber Optic Cable System provides connectivity to Europe and Asia 2011, Africa Coast to Europe ACE, Cable System connecting countries along the west coast of Africa to each other and to Portugal and France, is planned. Satellite Earth Stations, 2 Intelsat Atlantic Ocean 2011. Internet. Top level domain CM Internet users 1.1 million users, 113th in the world, 5.7% of the population, 184th in the world, 2012. 985,565 users, 2011. 749,600 users, 106th in the world, 2009. Fixed broadband, 1,006 subscriptions, 180th in the world, less than 0.05% of the population, 190th in the world 2012. Wireless broadband, unknown 2012. Internet hosts 10,207 hosts, 134th in the world 2012. 69 hosts 2008. IPv4 to 137,728 addresses allocated, less than 0.05% of the world total, 6.8 addresses per 1,000 people 2012. Internet service providers ISPs. Creelink Communications A number of projects are underway that will improve Internet access, telecommunications, and information and communications technology in general. Implementation of the e-post project, connecting 234 post offices throughout the country 
Extension of the National Optical Fiber Network, installation of the initial 3,200 km of fiber is complete and studies for the installation of an additional 3,400 km are underway. Construction of multipurpose community telecenters, some 115 telecenters are operating with an additional 205 under construction. Construction of metropolitan optical loops, the urban optical loop of Douala is complete and construction of the Yaoundé loop is underway. Construction of submarine cable landing points Establishment of public key infrastructure Construction of a regional technology park to support the development of ICTs Internet censorship and surveillance There are no government restrictions on access to the Internet or reports that the government monitors email or Internet chat rooms. Although the law provides for freedom of speech and press, it also criminalizes media offenses, and the government restricts freedoms of speech and press. Government officials threaten, harass, arrest, and deny equal treatment to individuals or organizations that criticize government policies or express views at odds with government policy. Individuals who criticize the government publicly or privately sometimes face reprisals. Press freedom is constrained by strict libel laws that suppress criticism. These laws authorize the government, at its discretion and the request of the plaintiff, to criminalize a civil libel suit or to initiate a criminal libel suit in cases of alleged libel against the president and other high government officials. Such crimes are punishable by prison terms and heavy fines, although the constitution and law prohibit arbitrary interference with privacy, family, home, or correspondence, these rights are subject to restriction for the higher interests of the state. And there are credible reports that police and gendarmes harass citizens, conduct searches without warrants, and open or seize mail with impunity. See also Cameroon Radio Television, government-controlled national broadcaster List of terrestrial fiber optic cable projects in Africa Media of Cameroon Cameroon, 